What is up, guys? This is Bearded Megatron. We're going to do something a little bit different to, today. A little slightly off topic, but still technically a toy. Still technically a game. I got a really good deal on some uh, Magic the Gathering cards. So I couldn't not share them uh, with you. So you're going to get kind of a... Um, Kind of uh, unboxing, but uh, not really. And, but with that said, let's see what we got. Uh, chilling trap. Little one drop instant. Wow, that's really OP for a uh, one drop. Target creature gets negative four, negative zero. Till end of turn. Jesus. If you control a wizard, draw a card. Wow, that's really... Dang. Uh, up next, got... Smite the Monstrous. Little four drop. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. That can come in handy in a pinch if uh, your opponent has a lot of really strong monsters. Uh, coming up next is Into the Royal. It's an instant with Kicker. I haven't seen Kicker in a while. Um... Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Okay, that's a uh, that's pretty handy for a, a two-drop. And then we have Angel Heart Protector. It's a little three-two. When Angel Heart Protector enters the battlefield, target creature you control gains indestructible. Until the end of turn. Nice. And, and then we have Kazandu Stomper. A, a little expensive, but he's got Trample and he is a 6 5, so he's uh, worth it. When Kazandu Stomper answers the battlefield, return up to two lands you control to their owners. Okay, so if you are battling an opponent that can destroy permanents, that's pretty handy. Moving on next, we have Subtle Strike. Little two drop. Choose one or both. Target creature gets minus one, minus one, or put plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Okay, I'd probably go with the first, but you never know. Maybe put a plus one, plus one, and then take control of it. I don't know. Mankindy Ox with Landfall. Always love those beasts with uh, landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, tap target creature and opponent controls. Sweet. Got another instant glacial gr glass grasp. If I I know words, I promise. Tap target creature. Its controller mills two cards. That creature doesn't untap during this controller's... Nice! Draw a card. Uh, here's a, a card I know. Feed the Swarm. Bam! Destroy target creature or enchantment and opponent controls. You lose 
life equal to that permanent converted mana cost. All right, yeah, that could be really handy for like eliminating weak one ones, so you don't take that much of a blow to yourself. Let's see what we've got next. Rabbit bite. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to the target creature you don't control. Pretty cool. It's like a little free attack there. Ah, Journey to Oblivion. Everybody loves Journey to Oblivion. When Journey to Oblivion enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent. Bye. An opponent controls until Journey to Oblivion leaves the battlefield. Nice. Up next, we have Veteran Adventurer. Veteran Adventurer is also a cleric, rogue warrior, and wizard. Must go along with the uh, fairy tale theme they've been having lately. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your party. And that's a 5-5 five, five. sweet Tangled Florhedron. Little 1-1 one, one with a tap ability to add a forest mana. Pretty cool. We have a new basic land. Up next, Scourge of the Sky Calves. Claves. Sky Claves, excuse me. With Kicker. Oh, nice. Uh, when you cast a spell, if it was kicked, each player loses half their life rounded up. Dang. Okay, got to watch that. Kind of bites everybody. Scourge of the Sky Claves. Power and toughness are each equal to 20 minus the highest. Wow. Okay. That is really OP for, uh, uh, for a two drop. Now I under stand why everybody loses half their life. Jesus. All right. Fissure Wizard. Nice little 2-1. When he enters the battlefield, discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Fair, I guess. Cascade Seer. A little 3-3 three, three that lets you scry. Expedition Healer. A little 2-2 two, two with Vigilance. Expedition Healer has lifelink. Nice. Oh, as long as I control the cleric. All right. I gotta, gotta read all of the fine print. Always has some kind of catch. All right. Gnarled Colony. If Gnarled Colony was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one encounters. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has trampled. Nice. Nice. 
Marauding Blight Priest. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. That is a damn good card for just three mana. Mm. Slide these out of the way before pile gets too big. Reclaim the Waste. Sorcery with Kicker. Search your library for a basic land each basic land card reveal it put it into your hands then shuffle your library if this spell was kicked search your library for two basic land cards instead of one nice and all just the cost of a one drop that's pretty sweet up next we have our first artifact uh, when Cliffhaven Kite Sail enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Equip cre creature as flying. I, I promise I, I know how to use words. Dooby dooby doo. Akum Hellhound. Elemental dog with landfall. Ah, my favorite kind of landfall, too. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus two, plus one, plus two, plus two until the end of the turn. Nice. All right. Then we have Bubble Snare. It's an enchantment with Kicker and Chant creature when bubble snare enters the battlefield. If it was kick tap, tap enchanted creature, enchanted creature doesn't untap during its sweet and offer a low, low price of one mana. Lull Mage's Dominion. This spell costs three less to cast if. If it targets a creature whose controller has eight or more cards in their graveyard, gain control of target creature with converted cost of X. Nice. Cleric of Life Bond. Whenever a cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever you drain life from the for the first time each turn put a plus one plus one counter on cleric of life's bond akum akum or akum warrior four or five with trample nice skyclave shade Cheap little three one, and if he was kicked, enters the battlefield with two plus one plus ones, and he has landfall. Sweet royal eruption, little sorcery with a kicker. Royal eruption deals. Three damage to any target. If this spell was kicked, it deals five damage instead. Nice. New little basic land. And the token. On to the next one. Go away. Oof. Got a super good deal on these cards, by the way. There's a little Black Friday type ish store near me, and normally a fat pack would cost me forty or fifty bucks, but uh, because this store sells reclaimed uh, items or salvage items. Um, I got it for a sweet, sweet tenor. So, yeah, always nice. 
tormenting voice as an additional cost to cast this spell discard a card draw two cards okay <coughs> Shell Shield. An instant with a kicker. Target creature you control gets plus zero, plus three until the end of turn. If this spell was kicked, that creature also gains hexproof. Nice, nice. Practice tactics. Choose target attacking or blocking creature. Practice tactics. Deal damage to the creature equal to twice the number of creatures in your party. Sweet. That is way OP for a one drop. Oblivion's Hunger. Why didn't I feel like that needed to be pronounced like that? I don't, I don't know. But it, it seemed right at the moment. Target creatures you control gains indestructible to end of turn. Draw a card if that creature has plus one, plus one. Nice. A lot of these cards are amazing for their mana cost. Tajaro or Tajaru, Tajaru, Blightblade. Ah. One, uh, one, one with death touch. Not very often you you see uh, death touch anymore. Much less uh, one, one with death touch. I I already know. You don't have to say it in the comments. Well, actually, yeah, I don't see death touch very uh, often. So if I'm wrong, well, too damn bad. Seagate Banneret. Seagate Banneret. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of their turn. So one, two. Nice, nice. I've, uh, I've noticed a, a lot of these creatures might not be too much, but they're cheap and their abilities make them way worth it. Coming up next, we have Scale the Heights. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature. Gain two life if you play an additional land this turn. Nice. Cleric of Chill Depths. Whenever Cleric of Chill Depths blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. And then Expedition Champion. Expedition Champion gets plus two, plus zero, as long as you control another warrior. Nice. It's a two, three. Only costs three to come out. That's pretty cool. Another artifact. Spare supplies. When spare supplies enters the battlefield, tap. Well, oh, spare su supplies enters the battlefield, tap. Sorry. When spare supplies enters the battlefield, draw a card. More artifacts. Relic amulet. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, put a charge counter on Relic Amulet. Pay two and, and tap. Remove all charge counters from Relic Amulet. It deals that much damage to target creature. Nice. Thundering Rebuke. Thundering Rebuke deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. That or is extra important. Canyon Jerboa. First time seeing a mouse. I've seen rats, but not mice. Uh, with landfall. So, one, two. 
mana cost of three. Let's see if landfall makes it worth it. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under you control, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. All right, that's pretty cool, I guess. Zandu Valley. It's a special land. It enters the battlefield. Tap. Tap it to add a forest. New style basic land. And the token. But it has no art. I, I guess it's just why whatever move out the way Anti-cognition, counter target spell or planes walk a spell unless it can unless its controller pays two. If an opponent has eight or more cards in their graveyard, instead counter that spell and scry two. Nice. Kabir Outrider. Uh, three three one. Kabir Outrider enters the battlefield. Target creature gets plus one plus one. One until the end of turn for each creature in your party. Whoa, that has the potential to blow up immediately. Scavenged Blade. When Scavenged Blade enters the battlefield, attach it to the target creature you control. And equip creature gets plus two, plus zero. Adventure awaits. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you don't put a card into your hand this way, draw a card. Hagra Constrictor. It's a snake. Hagra Constrictor enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter has menace. Nice. Nice, nice. Another Royal Eruption. Stonework Pack Beast. Stonework Pack Beast is also a cleric, rogue, warrior, and wizard. With the ability to add one mana of any color. Disenchant. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Nice. Oh, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. We're just going to say he's a vampire cleric. <clears throat> Enters the battlefield. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of creatures in your party. Nice. That can be particularly deadly uh, late game. And for only two mana. Shepherd of Heroes. So the 3-4 with flying. Shepherd of Heroes enters the battlefield. You gain two life for each creature in your party. Sweet. <clears throat> Sky on of the swarm. I know I'm going to get so many comments about you didn't pronounce that right. I don't care. The 3-3 three, three with flying. Uh, whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yeah, pretty cool. Low mage is familiar. Whenever you cast a kick spell, you gain two life. That's pretty cool. Rock Slide Sorcerer. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or a wizard spell, Rock Slide Sorcerer deals one damage to any target. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, this is this is pretty sweet little double sided land there. Some new planes artwork and an insect. Sweet. Move that on to the next one. Got limited time here, so I gotta pick up the pace a little bit. Field research sorcery with kick, draw two cards, cliffhaven, cell sword, three one, teeter peak ambusher, uh, one three. It gets <coughs> plus two plus zero to the end of your turn. Another anti cognition. Territorial scythe cat. It's a two more with trample. That is some really badass artwork. Mind drain. Target opponent. Discards two cards, mills a card, and loses one life. Damn. Now here is binding. Uh, enchant creature or planeswalker. Enchant permanent can attack or block. Damn. It's activated. Abilities can't be activated. Well, shit. Sky clave squid. Uh, with Defender. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And Landfall. Tuck Tuck Rubble Fort with Defender and Reach. Creatures you control have Haste. Mind uh, Carver. Looks pretty gnarly. Goma Fada Vanguard. It's a 2 2. Cost just 2 to come out. Malakir Rebirth. Uh, control. Choose target creature. You lose 2 life until the end of turn. That creature gains. Gains when this creature dies. Return it. Nice. Nissa of Shadowed Bows, a Planeswalker. Now they're giving out Planeswalker. Another Cleric. And Island. Another Insect Token. Token. Move these. Island. Another land. Moss pit skeleton. Kind of really spooky looking guy. Uh, swamps and forest is a 2 2 with kick abilities. All right. Well, guys, I'm I'm running short on time, so I'm going to have to jump to the special pack if I'm going to get to it. Already seeing promising things. Got a Hydra token. Another. Expedition Healer. Another Blight uh, Blade. Pack Beast. Oh, it looks like, yeah, these are all foil editions of uh, previous cards. Ooh, nice, shiny foils. Skyclave Pickaxe. Little equipment there. Wind Rider 
wizard. Uh, that looks like that's going to be my lot. Uh, catch y'all.